Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm gonna answer to your questions about KSA of Kai's shortly KSA. And short disclaimer, as always, KSA of Kai's it's a high school and Kai's itself it's a university. So basically, what I do, I answer to questions about KSA, which is high school. Please do not get confused, okay? Before further ado, let's jump into this video. Okay, today I'm gonna answer to your questions that were asked in the group chat. Usually I answer there shortly, but I chose some questions to answer here because maybe most of you might ask same questions. So I won't repeat myself and I will put all the answers here. Yeah, today I will answer to four of your questions. The first question is, is there any other school that, that's also full funded in South Korea? As I know, and as I live there for three years, there's no full funded high school like KSA in Korea. However, there are some international schools in Korea, especially in Busan. I don't know in Seoul, but in Busan there are two probably, if I'm not wrong. I know there's one school, so this is our school and up on the hill there's another school which is called Busan International High School. But I have friends from there and I ask, where are your international students from? Where are your international students from? They actually don't have any internationals, only Chinese students. But most Chinese students are also half Korean, so they don't really think that they're internationals. But I guess that school is not fully funded and they teach in English, I guess, everything. But it's humanity based school and there is one another school it's called korean international school i guess i watched one video on youtube recently and i was like wow i didn't know about the school so if i find it i will put the link down below so you will see it and that's also not free but i know only those schools that are internationals but not fully funded and yes, there is no fully funded high schools in Korea. However, there are two universities that are fully funded. Okay, second question. If the classes are taught in English or Korean. Okay, classes are usually taught, should be taught in English, but uh, some Koreans, they don't really know English, so they learn everything in Korean. But international students, we study in English, obviously. But if you apply as Korean student, you will study in Korean and you will have literally like different schedule, which means harder classes. But yes, there are some classes where Korean and international students study together and they're obviously in English. But it depends on the teacher too. Next question. Hey Munisa, in one of your Instagram posts, you wrote that teachers at KSA are not very good. <laughs> True. Not all of them, but yeah. They can say something about clothes and life there isn't very well. Can you explain what you meant? Well, I guess you got this question from this post. Yeah, I am the type of person if I get mad, I say everything or like I express myself somehow by writing or whatever. So I wasn't a good best student because I have my character that goes out sometimes and like ah, I hate it and I tell it but uh, in case of clothes uh, they have this tradition which I can understand but at the same time I don't understand so what their tradition is is that you cannot wear sleeveless shirt for example if I wear it like this I can't wear it like this even though like this I cannot wear it because it shows my shoulders and I'm not talking about like literally t-shirt less <laughs> clothes. Yeah, they don't like it. I mean, there are some teachers that they don't like this. So I had one teacher and she would like always say, I wouldn't like, I didn't wear like literally sleeveless everything, but I did have one shirt. It was like this and it was, uh, I wore, I wore that only for a photo shoot because it was my last year. And then she saw me and she's like, Oh, Manisa, your 
Nordstrom, there's are out! And I'm like, damn. I mean, I'm okay if you say it once, but it would repeat all the time because she was my uh, kind of teacher for the whole semester or for a year. So it was really annoying for me. And I was keeping it, keeping it, keeping it the whole year. And then I'm like, bang, nah, I cannot keep it anymore. So yeah, I didn't wear all the time like sleeveless, like only rare, I wear them rare. But what I don't understand is that they say that you cannot wear sleeveless shirts, but you can wear short shorts, like literally short shorts that you cannot even identify. Is it, is it shorts or underwear? So I would be like really angry, like why those girls shirts are like underwears but if i wear a t-shirt which is literally like this i'm a hoe maybe i don't know so like yeah it kept 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 and then i wrote it they do have this tradition which i still can't understand but at the same time i understand but still can't understand but yeah and about teachers that they are not good i mean some of them some of them not the whole school it's definitely a different topic and I will talk about bad things about KSA later. I don't know when, but I planned this video for like three or two years. I was like, I'm gonna reveal what's going on in this school, but not now, not yet. I need to make everything okay and then maybe one day I will talk about this in depth and I will tell what happened to me and what what is going on there with, with international students and so on. But yeah, that's my answer. And the last one, it's basically about dormitory. So the first thing I would like to say, hopefully you will get in guys and then think about dorm because first thing that you need to think about is your application. Just think about your application and so on. But when you get in, then think about life there and dormitory and so on. But so the schedule is like this. You need to wake up. I mean, you don't have to wake up. But if you're a freshman, you have Taekwondo from 6.50 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. But overall, seniors, juniors, like everyone, we have schedule like this you need to go check your name in the morning i actually included like i showed day in my life at ksa and i will put it in the card so you will check it out and see how it basically goes and so like you need to wake up as early as you can hopefully but you will wake up because we have like really really loud alarms and all of them are like songs so you need to wake up and check your name until 7.30 a.m. And then you need to go out of dorm at 8.20. You should be already out of dorm. And then it will be closed until lunchtime and it opens at 12.30 to 1.30. So you can go change your clothes, take some of your notebooks and books that you left or you need something or leave something and also go and eat your lunch. Yeah. And then it closes at 1.30 and then... It opens at 4.30 until 7.30. Then from 7.30 to 9.30 it's closed because from 7.30 to 9.30 all students should be uh, studying in their study place. Yes, it's called study... What was it? Study time? Study time? I forgot, but yeah, from 7.30 to 9 30 you have your own space where is your name is written and then you need to study from 7 30 to 10 30 in the school not in dorm and then from 9 30 to 11 20 it's opened so you need to go back to dorm whatever you have to do and at 11 20 it closes like the doors are closed if you're late for one hour you will be out i had this situation a few times I can actually put the video like I was like oh seriously one minute or five minutes late like mm. depends on your dorm teacher too if she or he wants to open the door for you or you will get penalty points which is bad ah but in case of weekends dorm is always open is it yes it's always open like Saturday and Sunday from the morning to 11 20 p.m. again <laughs> it's open 
yes that's all yes hopefully i did answer to your questions if you have any questions related to ksa which is high school please leave them down below or in the group chat join the group chat yes that's all for this video thank you for watching and hopefully you got your answers but yep I don't know when I'm gonna upload this video because it's already Sunday night. <laughs> Sunday, some night. Yes. See you in the next video. Don't forget to leave your questions down below so I will answer to them in the next video. Thank you and bye.